Hey, Erwin here. Uh, just here to profile one of our clients' properties. They just closed on this last week. And uh, first of all, because we're, we're not just buying a house, we're buying a neighborhood. So if you look around, for example, I see our neighbor has a Mercedes in, the, in their driveway. I see newer cars in driveways and on streets. If you look at the people, folks across the street, for example, these two houses, you can see these people have spent a lot of money on their houses, right? I see tens of thousands of dollars spent on on the appearance of their homes. So that tells me they have money and they care, right? Those are important signs for where I choose to invest my hundreds of thousands of dollars for, for investment property, including for our clients. So let's go have a look inside. So here's the front of the property. So this house was completely renovated in 2017. So you can see they've done a lot of work to the facade. It looks like a new roof, new awning, new siding. They spend a ton of money here, and which is nice because they spent it so that we don't have to spend it. You can see the patio stones are updated. The, the front steps are all updated. Handrails are all updated. The house is gorgeous. So again, they spent the money so that my client doesn't have to come out of pocket and they can finance this, all of this stuff done. Easy peasy. This driveway was done in 2017 as well. Like we don't normally see these type of awnings and that's part of the nice thing about this housing correction that we've had. This is possibly one of the nicest houses we've ever done for our client. Uh, and our client, was, because of the, the housing correction that we've seen, our pro client was actually able to purchase this house for about 30% off, uh, off what it would have sold for about 10 months ago. So let's go inside, let's go inside first. Yeah. Come on in. So we have updated flooring, a new kitchen. Again, because we were able to pick up houses for such nice prices, uh, I don't know the last time we, we, per we did a house that had an island in it for an investment property. So this is stone, lovely GE appliances. The house is gorgeous. It's been renovated recently, all this new cabinetry. This looks newer as well. Again, I love the fact that someone else paid for all this sort of stuff so that my client doesn't have to pay for all, for all these doors. Again, uh, especially now with all the supply chain issues, it's difficult to get these things done on time. We have all these brand new pot lights as well. So understand that this house was likely built 1950-ish, uh, around there, maybe in the 1940s. So other houses in this neighborhood would not have all these sort of updates, including the pot lights. Very uncommon for this style of home in this area is, uh, this is a one and a half story. So very uncommon for a one and a half story to have a full, to have a full bathroom on the main floor. So this house does have that. This house actually has three bathrooms. Extremely uncommon for this price point in this neighborhood. Our clients, of course, are getting ready to do a, re a pretty serious renovation. And again, I love all the updates. I love how bright this house is. Like, all the windows have been updated. So again, something my client doesn't have to do. <laughs> oh, the tile of the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, the stairs, but. Yeah, it's a little on the cold side. Yeah, but again, it was the owner trying to, the owner was intending to live here forever, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so we have a full bathroom on the third floor, a, a second floor, sorry, second floor. Not common for this, uh, this age of home, this style of home. So this house has a lot of features that other homes do not. Oh, they didn't finish this floor. That's funny. <laughs> no big deal. A couple hundred bucks, maybe two grand to refinish this. Less than that. Less than that. Less than that. If I was living here, I'd refinish it. This is going to be a rental. I would leave it. <laughs> This would have been the master bedroom. Of course, this room, this one, this room has finished flooring. <laughs> and a view of my favorite part about the property. The two, the two car garage. Wait, they built that, didn't they? They built it. Uh, they built it as a garage initially, and then they converted it to a studio, uh, like a music studio. So you'll see- From you'll scratch? See, yeah, from scratch. Oh, okay. Can't wait to see it. <clears throat>
This is silly. Why don't they finish this? Take these off. Hey, Chris, why don't they take the hinges off? Yeah, I don't know. Like, you live here. It's not, you know, it's... <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> it's not like you have to go out of your way to go fix it. Well, and they spent all this money doing other stuff everywhere else, right? So... So here we have a fully finished basement, including a lovely bathroom just over here. Uh, that's behind there. Oh, I love these shutters. I love these blinds. I have these in my home too. So again, pot lights, a newly renovated bathroom. Wow. With a lovely shower, thank goodness to put a light in. Right. So our client's intention is to turn this to a basement apartment. Uh, me personally, I would leave it. <laughs> uh, this is a market I want to be hoarding cash in. And uh, I personally would prefer to buy another property than to convert this basement. Nothing to see here? No, furnace is newer. All the ductwork is new. The ductwork is new? Yeah, this is all wow. new. I know. I can't believe I paid one 800 something for this. Yeah. Uh, there is 125 amp service electrical too, I think, in this one. Alex Alexander's got to be over the moon on this property. <laughs> she is. She's excited. Does she know how, does she know like how every, good a property she like got? every other client thinks she's overpaid, but I told her she <laughs> Yeah, so it's a 125 watt panel. This is all brand new. This is, a rare, this is uncommon for Hamilton. Uh, I think maybe one out of 10 properties will have actually an ESA sticker on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a clean, it's a clean electrical panel, which is nice. Historically, Hamilton is not uh, a high income area. So I don't know who they hired to do the electrical work, but they were not licensed electricians who got permits. <laughs> So Chris, as is, how much can we rent the house out at? Uh, I think you can get somewhere between 32 and 3,500. 3,500 probably easily, just for the house. So Coach Chris believes that we can get around 3,500 for the house. To be conservative, you can use 3,200. Uh, but our client recently rented out their house for 3,200 and it was on a busier street. Not nearly as nice as this house. Um, this location is better. Again, because it's not on a busy street. Uh, it's a bigger house. It's got three bathrooms versus he had two. Yeah. Um, and this is, house is finished nicer. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. So baseline 32, pretty comfortable. Yeah, I mean, if Roger got 32, easily, easily 32 here. Now here's the best part. So this is not common. You have a fully finished backyard, gorgeous landscaping, all these landscaping stones, interlocking. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't even imagine the backbreaking labor of putting this stuff down, how heavy this stuff is. Also the price of all this stuff went through the roof during the pandemic. Uh, again, this renovation was done back in 2017. So I'm sure the homeowner, the sellers were very happy. They paid uh, probably, I bet they paid half of what it would cost today to have this all done. So this is again, uh, what do you call this? Is it even called a garage? Well, it's a studio. It was used as a studio, a music studio. Right, so we have a custom built studio. See, I mean, the cool thing about this is that uh, these floors are heated. Uh, it's all insulated. Uh, it's got its own um, uh, split duct system in here. Heat and cool? Uh, well, the heat, they get the heat from the floor because this can heat the whole space and that's just for cooling. Right. So that's a split air system. Uh, they're not cheap. You can see all of it like over here behind the door. You can see that's basically what heats the underground here, 
the underground pipes. Right. And we're looking around $100,000 budget to convert this? Yeah. How many square feet we have here? Uh, it's just under 600 square feet. It doesn't look like a lot right now. It doesn't, but you're, there's room for two bedrooms in here. Two bedrooms, kitchen, bathroom, and living space. Fantastic. The plan, I believe, as well, is to open up that wall to have like a sliding door so that they go out into like an outdoor space back there. Um, and then the shed, they're planning on getting rid of the shed as well. Oh, that's too bad. I know. Nice I shed. like the shed. I think the, I think the tenants will like storage with the shed, but uh, the clients decided to not keep the shed. I think they can rent it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think you could, I, am a capitalist. I think you could get more rent for this knowing that they have storage over there. But. Maybe you convince our client, maybe you can coach our client into doing something that makes them more money. <laughs> yeah, but we have close to 600 square feet. And Chris, what can this rent out for? Uh, I believe that we'll rent somewhere between 23 and 2500. Right. So as is, you could probably rent it out for 300. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Right. Heated like this, this size, uh, you could probably get a little bit more for it. All right. So four or 500, the maximum. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about th between somewhere between three to $500 to rent this out as is. But if our client invests a hundred thousand dollars to convert this into a garden suite, uh, then they can increase their rent by $2,000 a month. I think in most people's books, that's a good investment. Uh, but do understand, this is not common. Our clients did a wonderful job getting this property. Coach Chris did a wonderful job coaching them to acquire a property that has this many, this much value potential. Uh, um, and yeah, congrats to our clients. The one thing I will say is that I feel like a lot of people weren't willing to pay for the value of this particular garage because nobody saw the value in it. Whereas an investor, this is a gold mine. So uh, just something to keep in mind when you're looking at properties like this, because it, it limits the field of people that are actually looking for something like this. So it, it makes it a little bit easier for an investor to pick something up like this um, and convert it. Awesome, nice work, Chris. Nice work to our clients. Any questions, Adam? <laughs> Every property I've ever done, I felt like I overpaid. Uh, I bought on down markets, I bought on up markets. <laughs> uh, 10 years from now, they, they, can, they can tell us if they overpaid or not. Uh, but my point is though, is that a property like this is not common. So for all those who are waiting for the bottom, understand when we get to the bottom and we start going back up, you will be in multiple offers for properties like this. Am I right, coach? I would 100% agree with that. Right, so. This is great, this is amazing. <laughs>